Today, we're back in my 1.18 hardcore world. I see you. Yeah, that's what you get. But ladies and gentlemen, I have an amazing, insane build idea today. I want to make a giant Minecraft museum. And the purpose of this museum is to showcase every single biome in Minecraft. So my mission is to go around the world collecting blocks so I can recreate all these biomes in the museum. And I meant business. I popped on my nerdy glasses, hopped in a separate but creative mode world and began designing the perfect museum. Okay, we have an amazing design, but now we have to go get a lot of materials. This build is literally gonna cost us thousands of blocks, so we gotta go on a big old mining adventure. Wait, but first, I probably should heal up my tools. They don't look too good. So that means quick pit stop at the Enderman farm. Oh, hello there. Funny seeing you here. And as I fly there, please subscribe and hit the bell. And there she is, the farm we all know and love. Now give me some XP. And that being said, it's time to go mining. We'll be here for a while. Oh look, a green cube. Hello. But anyways, the main reason we're down here is because we need to get at least two shulker boxes full of cobblestone. So the mission is simple. Mine. Mine a lot. Oh, hello diamonds. Well, that's funny. I'm gonna use all this cobblestone to make the walls and the floor for the museum. I also grabbed granite for the roof and a few more kinds of stone just for extra details. Ah, bugs. And that is what I am talking about. Look at all these stones. And the best part is, I still gotta get a ton more materials like wood and glass and things like that. I'm using wood to make tons of external details on the building, and I'm using glass to actually make enclosures inside of the museum. And we're using so many materials, I had to get two new shulker boxes. And alright, we are back one full day later, and I have all the materials I need. So that being said, let's get to building. Now where am I gonna put this thing? Because again, it's gonna be a very big build, so... So I need a lot of space. And not over here. Probably not here either. Can I just say, if I built this underground, it would have been 10 times easier, but I want to go the extra mile for you guys. You're welcome. Ah, you know what? Over there on that hill looks pretty promising. It's pretty flat up there. It's all alone. Shall we go investigate? Who owns this land? Mr. B, you own the land. Well, friends, I'm going to build a museum here and you can either leave or get crushed by construction. I suggest option A. So I began construction by terraforming the land a little bit lower to make it easier to build upon. Oh, hello there. Hit the B. Yes, yes, B warfare. I love it. <laughs> Are you the guys from town hall? Guys, I have my permits. It's fine. I have my permits. Go away. I hate laws. That's the police. I'm sorry. I love laws. I love laws. Laws the best. Dumb jokes aside, I brought a beacon over so I can terraform a lot faster. I highly underestimated how much work this was going to be. But on the bright side, I found an emerald. How cool is that? Not cool at all. And done. All right. So Mr. Cow, get out the way. Without any further ado, it's time to begin building. Though I probably should change pickaxes though, right? That's probably a smart idea. <laughs> Let's do this thing. So I began by using my cobblestone to make a nice little foundational base for the building. Above that, I used more stones and tons of wood to make beautiful detailed walls that led up to an amazing roof made out of granite. And what do we think about this bad boy? Guys, I love this. I love how it looks. It looks so good grand and amazing. I couldn't imagine it being any better. So we walk up here to the small platform. Not really needed at all, but it looks fancy, so I did it. Then we walk up here to go into the museum, which is right now totally empty. But the idea is to have, like, an exhibit in all of these little wooden boxes. So, one here, one here, one here, and on all these other ones. I forgot about the glass. I gotta put glass over all these rooms, too. And that right there is much better. Getting back on track, we have an upstairs, we have the middle ground that you already saw, and we have a downstairs. So in total, that equals 18 total exhibits. So that means we gotta go pick out the 18 most iconic biomes in Minecraft and put them in those cells. Side note, look how comfy that skeleton looks in that shell. Oh, I'm so jealous of you. Carrying on, it is now time to begin filling up the museum with biomes. I decided to start off with the three most iconic biomes in the game. The plains biome, the desert biome, and the forest biome. Well, the plains biome should be very easy because we're in a plains biome right now. So I just need some grass, a little bit of the other grass, and maybe a few flowers. And let's see what my small brain can come up with here. Pop inside of here. We coat the ground in grass. We make some height variation so it's not all boring and flat. And we sprinkle in the details. Now, I'll be honest here, this is like the easiest biome I could possibly pick. So if this looks bad, we're in trouble. And I'd say that looks wonderful. Next up, we're off to find a 
desert. So the desert contains cacti, these dead bushes. Oh, would you knock it off? And of course, a bunch of sand. Ooh, and sandstone. I'll take a little bit. But then I realized I made a big mistake. Wait, what? Oh my goodness, I forgot. Last episode, I got a pet ravenger and I totally didn't finish the raid. No, not the children. Let me just take care of this really fast, okay? And what we get? Oh, some totems don't mind if I do. Back to work we go. So I got my resources, flew back to the museum, and began making the best desert biome of all time. And glorious. Oh, I love this one. This one's so cute. And next up, it was time to visit the forest. Now, the forest is an interesting one because it's the same thing as a plains biome, but there's just some trees here. So that being said, I might have an idea to make this a little bit cooler. Why just build a forest when I could build a flower forest? How sick would this be? Tons of flowers? I think I'll be sick. It's been decided. Ooh, pumpkins? Yes, that'd be a great touch. Oh yeah. Oh no, I didn't even get it. Ah! Don't kill me, it's hardcore. I'm not playing this game right now. I'll find another one. Aha, and you're empty. All right, that's good. Stupid bees. So once again, I flew back to the museum and began building the biome. Oh my gosh, there's actually bees in here. I did not know that. Oh, don't all escape. I will literally murder you guys. I will call pest control. And the tree in the corner looks kind of weird to me. I guess this is better. It's tough because, you know, the enclosure is so small. I can't build like giant things, but I mean, that's all right. Also, what did I just say? You could have had it all, but you chose freedom instead. What a shame. All right, first three down, 15 more to go. What should I do next? I don't even know, but I know someone who does know. Oh, Broderick, Mr. Scientist, smart man, I need your help. I need you to help me think of some biomes to put in my new museum, okay? Okay. Uh-huh. Sure. All right, those are some good ideas, Broderick. Good job. And by the way, how's your book coming along? Any new chapters for me? Ooh, is rain too common? Yes, yes, Broderick, it is. You are so smart, dude. I totally agree with that. I hate the rain. Carrying on, it was now time to get back to the journey. And here we are in the jungle biome. Now, funny enough, jungles are my favorite biome in the game. So I really want to make a good jungle biome for the museum. So let's get some jungle leaves, some vines, some wood. Ooh, and some of these things, these ferns. These are kind of rare for me. Ooh, cocoa beans. Oh, and bamboo. There's so much stuff in jungles, man. Ah, but there is one issue. Issue. The grass here is really bright and it won't be this bright back in the museum So that means we're gonna make a substitute everybody follow me Ow! How do we feel about moss? This looks kind of jungly. I think that would fit in nicely. I say we give it a try All right, please be good. Please look nice and spoiler alert. It looked amazing. I'm not gonna lie I really like this like obviously it's not real jungle grass But it looks even more jungly and I got the rest of the stuff here And I think this is the best one yet to be honest with with you. I love it. Now at the risk of this video getting a little bit repetitive, I'm gonna skip ahead a bit. I collected samples from all the other foresty biomes like savannas, swamps, and dark oak forests. Look how small this biome is. It's literally this big. That is so weird. I then popped back in the museum and got back to work building the biomes. Oh my gosh, the spruce taiga biome looks amazing. We got the pods, all the mossy cobble, the spruce tree that actually looks good somehow. Amazing. It wasn't all good though as the dark oak biome was killing me. Why is it so hard to fit this one? I just want two mushrooms in a tree. Is that too much to ask for? All right, I'm satisfied with that one. No, wait. Broderick, he was right. He knew it all along. Won't stop raining. Okay, here comes a very interesting one. The acacia biome. I have the wood, I have the leaves, but the grass in the acacia biome is very weird. It's like yellowish. So I gotta find a replacement for that and I don't know what to actually do. Let's investigate. So I hopped in a separate creative mode world and began experimenting with some weird blocks, but then I found a really good idea. Okay, call me insane, but what about a path block? It's either this or wet sponges, and I don't really like the sponge idea, so let's go with the path block. I'm nervous about this, but let's do it. Ah! I don't know, but it's not terrible, so that's a good sign, right? I guess we'll roll with it and see how it looks at the end. Little tree in here. Oh, it, ah, if I can pull this off, I'll be the best Minecrafter of all time. And things were going so well until I forgot something. Oh, dang it, it looks so good, but I can't put down grass now, right? It won't, ah, dang it. I'll have to improvise once again. So I created a savanna only world, popped on my glasses, and began studying the landscape for secrets. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, it's not perfect, but this is not terrible. And you know what? I think that's good enough. Savannah done. And I'll put one of you here just cause. And right there too. Awesome. And of course, as soon as I make a little bit of progress, I got sidetracked.
hold on. It's a thunderstorm. And you know what that means? I can get mob heads if I use my trident. Where are the creepers at? Mobs, come here. We have a party, a gathering. All right, do it. Explode. Do it. Do it. Ooh. Well, that wasn't safe. What do we get? We got a zombie head. Any more heads? Just one zombie head, really? No! What? The one time I want the rain and it stops. You can't make this up. Ooh, spider jockey. I'm still upset. Okay, I just finished up with the swamp biome, which looks pretty decent. I had to use moss for the grass color. But anyways, I am ready to start doing some more exotic and, you know, creative biomes. So my idea is to make some interdimensional biomes like nether biomes or an end biome. I think that would add so much variety to our museum and make it more colorful and just more unique. So I love that. Let me just grab some food from the old chief over here. I'll take some of these. Thank you very much. And off we go to the nether. And hello, my beautiful nether base. I've missed you. I always miss you. I love this base so much. But anyways, I've calculated that I want to get two nether biomes for the museum. So I think a warped forest would be awesome. So I'll take some of this stuff. Oh, there is so much stuff. So many things. Now for the other biome, I was very conflicted if I wanted to do like a nether waste or, you know, like a, a soul sand valley. Oh, go away. No, 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 no. No, that's what I thought. You're scared of me. I'm bigger than you. I'm better than you. What I was saying is I think I'm gonna go with the other forest, the crimson forest. So I got some crimson stuff and I was ready to head home. Oh, wait a second. I can't leave yet. Last episode, I said if the video got 3,500 likes, I would go fight a piglin brute with no armor. And you guys were so close, but I'm a nice guy, so I'm gonna count it. All right, let's get this thing over with. I'm a little bit scared. Off to find a bastion. Oh, would you stop it? Oh, well, that's convenient. A bastion. All right, here goes nothing. Let me just take off my armor. And now we search for a bad boy. Now, as far as I know, these guys can one hit you, I think, right? It's either one hit or two hit, but either way, it's very dangerous. Oh, not as dangerous as lava. Well, that's not good. I lost my totem. That's not good at all. Oh dear, now I'm scared. I'll put my elytra on so I can fly a little bit. That might help. Okay, I don't see any brutes here, so I'm just gonna go find another bastion. On second thought, I'm out of fireworks, so I gotta get back home and get some more. BRB. Oh dear. Oh dear. All right, I got it. So I grabbed some gear and headed back out to find that bastion. We found one in a really weird spot. It's literally in the middle of a waste biome, but all right. Is that one? <gasps> oh, no, it tricked me. <gasps> That's one though. Hoo, hoo, hoo. All right, my armor is all off. Let's go. Oh, you're, you're dying. Oh, there's two. Is this cheating? Whatever, I don't care. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. All right, I did it. Oh, no. All right, bye. Armor back on. See ya. But that being said, if this video gets 3,500 likes, I will tame a pet pillager. And yes, that's possible. Now, at this point, I was ready to get back to work and finish up this museum. So I built the nether exhibits, the end exhibit, and even a couple more exhibits for overworld biomes. Oh, hey there, buddy. How you doing? What's up? What do you got for me? Eh, nothing too good. Oh, no, he despawned. Dang it. Now, for our next biome, we need to travel quite a bit away. All right, it's adventure time. I'm doing a snowy, icy biome, but there's no ice here, so I gotta go find some. Off we go on a big journey. So I flew for over 4,000 blocks until I finally found something. Ooh, ha ha ha. Just what the doctor ordered. It only took me like 4,000 blocks of flying, but it's worth it. <gasps> Guys, a polar bear. Hello there, my furry friend. How you doing? Oh, look how cute he is. Ah! I didn't know you attack me. D don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, look at his little feet. <laughs> I'm just here for some ice. I'm just here for some ice. I definitely got to write this place down. So on I went, building the snow biome until... Not again. There's always got to be a distraction, but you know what? This is a good one. I can get more mob heads. Hey, little buddy. Bah. Do it. Blow it up quick. Do it. Now, now, now. Ooh. Yes, we got one. Awesome. That's what I wanted. Let's go. And while I'm here, here's an update with the biome. So I made a little mesa biome, which I think is adorable with a little mine cart. I love this. I made a warped forest, a crimson forest, and an end biome, which is very bland, but whatever. I can't do much with the end. I have the pillar though, which is pretty awesome. And coming up here to the very top floor, we have two snowy biomes, a snow taiga, taiga, and over here, ice spikes. Now I'm not gonna lie, the glass touching the ice here is a little bit triggering, but 
I can't do much about it. Ice spikes are big, so I gotta roll with it. But anyways, we now have one, two, three, four more left. And oh boy, we gotta get creative for these last four. Now for two of them, I made underground cave biomes, but for the third one, I wanted to do a mushroom island. Now the issue is I have not found a mycelium island yet, and I'm not gonna go exploring for one because they're super duper rare. So I'm gonna make a substitute. I tried using purple concrete and let's see. Ooh, that looks very bright purple. That might not work. Ooh, maybe that. What is that? Is that terracotta? Light gray terracotta. That looks very mycelium-y. Oh yeah, I love it already. <gasps> Are you telling me I can plant mushrooms on this too? This is the perfect block for this. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. I love this. And ladies, gentlemen, we have saved the best for last. For my last biome, we're gonna make an ocean biome, but without the water. Like, I could do water, but when you put water between glass and always looks really weird so I'm gonna try and do this without any water and it could look sick it could look awful I don't know let's figure it out and I'll just say this was by far my favorite biome because I really was creative with it thoughts I think it looks really good I used coral I used some like nature blocks to make it look kind of like seagrass and kelp I even made an ocean ruin and a shipwreck I think it looks fine but anyways guys that's it that's the whole museum we're all done she looks glorious and now it's time to do the official Farsi Biome Museum tour. Starting over here, we have the Plains Biome, the Desert Biome, and the Flower Forest Biome. This way, we have the Dark Oak Biome, we have the Spruce Taiga Biome, and we have the Jungle Biome. Going downstairs, we have the Nether Warped Forest, the Nether Crimson Forest, and the End Dimension. The Savanna Biome, the Swamp Biome, and the Mesa Biome. And last but not least, up on the top floor, we have the lush cave biome, the dripstone biome, and the underwater deep ocean, the mushroom island, the ice spikes biome, and finally the snowy plains. Ooh, you know what I should do? I should put lecterns here so I have like the names of the biomes in front of the exhibits. And boom, there we go. Mission successful. But guys, I'm gonna end it here, so make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.